But if you think about it in terms of power, I can get this golf club traveling a huge distance on the way back, but in reality, I haven't really turned my shoulders. And what we want to use as a reference for creating power and speed in the golf swing is not necessarily how far this travels, because we might be able to get that all the way back, but we're not going to be able to create proficient speed on the way down. It's more about body rotation. We need to get these shoulders turning all the way back 90 degrees. Now this is not relative to flexibility or mobility. You can just simply turn your lower body if you do struggle to create that nice big turn. But then from there, as soon as we get that 90 degree shoulder turn, the rest of this arm overrun as such, the more that we get these elbows bending and separating and moving behind us, just increases our inconsistency at the moment of impact.